Hey everyone, it's Leviathan here again. This here is my intro video to explain to you guys what I normally talk about for my videos that I make from this point on to help you guys out. My Leviathan universe is very prodigious. I have 15,000 plus characters and creatures that are accounted for as compared to the infinite number in this infinite onion of a multiverse. The five main heroes are notably the five most focused characters in my Leviathan universe. There's Madame Shear, founder and owner of Blader Tech Industries. There's Dentrini, who's the biological granddaughter of Satana, founder and ruler of Tartarus. And she herself is also um, the director of the Paranormal Defense. Pym is a Lunarian, which is an alien species that's currently endangered after their home star exploded. Um, Colossa is the, uh, the granddaughter of Goddess, who is the founder and leader of the Alpha Gods and creator of the Cosmos. Colossa herself has infinite growing capacity, can shoot nuclear beams from her hands, can break the fourth wall and other powers. And Kyjericus is Queen of the Mutants who's basically a woman who was mutated into a giant reptilian kaiju woman, who now protects people from kaiju-based threats. I have all of this elaborate information I could, could tell you and such, because they are all really impressive, and I really recommend that you gotta check these stuff out, because it, it will blow you away. And you know who Stanley is? Stan Lee, the guy who created Spider-Man, the Fantastic Four, the X-Men, the Avengers, and all that stuff. I am planning to be as blessed as he was. And I really hope that this is the right reality. And if you guys want, I really hope that I could be able to succeed with my creations. Yeah, so basically it's really impressive stuff, and I made all of them, and I have to make it up to them. You know, because I made them exist, and I have to make it worth it for them. And if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. You know how it is. And I hope you guys have a decent understanding. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Enjoy. Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again. And to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high functioning autistic. I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stanley did. This will be my first character video in two weeks or so. And the main goal that I'm trying to do for this one is to be as relaxed as possible so that way I wouldn't feel pressured, you know? Here's the first character, just so you guys know. Goliath, real name, none. Height, 12 feet, weight, 300 pounds, status, villain and Queen of Brobdenang. Base, Brobdenang, Bermuda Triangle. Intelligence, four brains. Behavior, judgmental and vicious. She has no compassion. Lethality, as above. Weaknesses, concussions, powers. She has great size and strength, martial arts, and is skilled with a variety of weapons. She later gained self-resurrection. Eyes deep brown, Air, deep black, and wavy. Origin. Goliath was a Brobnangian warrior who never cared for the Lilliputians, the natives of Lilliput. When she learned that the descendant of Lemuel finally arrived in Lilliput, she decided that it's her chance to destroy them. As soon as Goliath arrived, she mocked Lynette, who is the descendant of Lemuel Gulliver, and that she's half her size, make a mistake of thinking the fight would be easy. However, while she was fighting her, Goliath got a concussion from a large stone that Lynette threw to her face. When she was finally killed, her people placed her corpse on a boat that sailed into the Atlantic Ocean, figuring that they lost the war. However, her boat arrived at the shores of Africa, where Voodoo found the body and brought Goliath back to life, forever infusing her with self-resurrection in the process. Costume. She wears steel armor, covering most of her body. 
team, Solitary, or with other villains. Order of Inspiration, Goliath of Gath. Here's the next character. Just so you know, it's like three characters in total. Unicorna. Real name, none. Height, 9 feet 4 inches. Weight, 383 pounds. Status, Hero, and Hoof Heroes member. Base, Mythos, Atlantic Ocean, Mobile. Intelligence, three brains. Behavior, witty and lovely. She'll always try to get appreciation. Lethality, only when angered or during a fight. Weaknesses, rejection and misogyny. Powers, she has sharp hooves, great speed, possesses a long and sharp alicorn, uncanny reasoning skills, and has unnatural beauty. She also has vast magic powers and can repel all evil spirits. Eyes, vivid silverish green. Hair, pinkish silver and flowing. Origin. Unicorna was the offspring of a unicorn and a centaurian until the day they were killed by Kim Chimera, the, the tyrant aunt of the heroic Centara, who is the princess of the island of Mythos. By adulthood, Unicorna was urging to feel beautiful, leading to her attempting to seduce Pan, who is Centara's husband. However, when Centara learned of this, she fought Unicorna and beat her to a pulp, covering her with bruises. After a few months, Unicorna healed from her wounds and begged to Centara for forgiveness, which she barely received. Since then, Unicorna is now a member of the Hoof Heroes and is recently all doing all she can to keep from getting Centara angry with her again. Costume She wears a cloth that blends with her skin. Team Solitary with the Hoof Heroes and other heroes for inspiration, Unicorns. Here's the last character, just so you know. Wings Real name, none. Height, 6 feet 9 inches. Weight, 346 pounds. Status, Hero, in Hoof Heroes member. Base, Mythos, Mobile. Intelligence, Three Brains. Behavior, Willful and Wise. She'll always protect the innocents. Lethality, Make sure you always look up. Weaknesses, She has a strong fear of bugs. Powers, She has sharp hooves, great speed, extreme wisdom, and possesses wings that allow flight. She's also immune to toxins. Eyes, sky blue, hair, platinum white, and chin length. Origin. Wings was the offspring between a Centaurian and a Pegasus until she lost her parents from the wrath of Chimera. Second mention for that character. Growing up with no family, Wings had encountered Centara, who hired her to become a new member of the Hoof Heroes. Eventually, Wrath, the evil twin sister of Goddess, had transported a the mother of all worm variants known as Mother Worm to Mythos in order to destroy the natives. And with the help of her new team, Wings had successfully defeated her. Since then, Wings had forever considered the Hoof Heroes as her family. Costume. She wears a cloth top that match her Centaurian design. Team Solitary with the Hoof Heroes and other heroes of inspiration. Pegasus of Greek mythology. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed those three characters. I tried to make it as comprehensible as possible. And yeah, thank you for the 30 views for the 10 minutes of rain video that I've made. I've been trying my best to make things work. And if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. You know how it is. You know. Yeah, I uh, really hope I'm being successful with my podcast so far. Like, I feel like I need to have more confidence with the videos that I make and such. Because I desire the best of intentions. But of course, I don't want to force anyone into it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the month and such. Until next time, in transmission.